Tony Bennett, known for his pop, big band, and jazz music, was married three times and fathered four children. With songs like My Funny Valentine and What a Wonderful World, Bennett knew a thing or two about the trials and tribulations of love. Bennett's wife issued a heartbreaking health update on the singer in 2021, revealing his Alzheimer's diagnosis, but the music legend didn't let that bring him down. If I get lucky enough, I have no desire to retire. I'm going to keep studying and keep learning. Bennett retired only two years before his death after his last performance with Lady Gaga in 2021. The two even penned a successful album together, Cheek to Cheek, that paved the way for a new generation of Bennett fans. Unsurprisingly, his relationships were also noteworthy and have raised a few eyebrows, often being the subject of media headlines and left many wondering about the singer's romantic pursuits throughout the years. One of the most notorious relationships throughout Tony Bennett's career was with his first wife, Patricia Beach. The two met one night after one of Bennett's performances in Ohio, and at the time, Beach was studying art. It wasn't long before they married in New York at St. Patrick's Cathedral on February 12, 1952. According to Good Housekeeping, women dressed up in black and lined up outside the wedding to mourn as their beloved singer became officially unavailable. The former couple also shared two sons, D'Andrea and Degal, who were born in 1954 and 1955. The union ended in divorce in 1971, likely due to the couple's complex long-distance relationship while Bennett was out touring on the road and a busy music career. The website also notes that while the two were separated during their marriage, the singer also began a relationship with Sandra Grant. Shortly after Tony Bennett's divorce from Patricia Beach became finalized in 1971, he married actress Sandra Grant later that year. According to the Free Library, Grant and Bennett initially met at a pool party at the Beverly Hills Hotel. The two were married for nearly a decade and had two daughters, Joanna and Antonia, before they split in 1979, but it took years before the divorce was made official. The split between the two was anything but amicable, where Grant shared her true feelings about the relationship's end in the press. In a 2007 interview with Page Six, Grant revealed, Thank God my divorce papers are finalized with Tony after all these years. I was not legally divorced until just a few months ago. The Tony I knew is not the same smiley Mr. Nice Guy the world knows. The interview also captures a glimpse into the marriage as Grant recalls Bennett's substance abuse issues with cocaine, financial hardship, and prolonged time apart due to his career. This eventually led him to his final marriage, which was anything but conventional. In the 1980s, Tony Bennett started up a romantic relationship with Susan Crow. This former schoolteacher had always been a fan of his music, despite the fact that she is 40 years younger than him. In fact, according to Page Six, Bennett once took a picture with Crow's parents when her mother was pregnant with her. These two got married on June 21, 2007, and they were inseparable since. In fact, Crow was Bennett's primary caregiver after it was announced on February 1, 2021, that Bennett had Alzheimer's disease. She said in the interview, "...there's a lot about him that I miss because he's not the old Tony anymore, but when he sings, he's the old Tony." I like to tell people when they ask me what I do, I say, I take care of a national treasure. Bennett regularly shared photos of his life with his wife, such as them in matching pajamas and cooking. As part of a feature for AARP, he said, "...life is a gift, even with Alzheimer's. Thank you to Susan and my family for their support."